Hi, I'm Dr. Ewomia Winifred, and I'll be talking on the approach to headache history taking. So you begin with an introduction. You read the station prompt in front of the door. I encourage you to be calm as much as possible and take down some notes, which will be helpful in the interview. So for your notes, you could begin by jotting down the name and age of the patient, the setting, if it's the emergency room or, or clinic, the time allocated, so you don't forget. You present complaints, in this case, headache, and jot down four or five differential diagnoses, which will help in your questioning. Then you then go on to knock and go into the room. You read out your candidate number to the examiner. Make sure to sanitize your hands. Ask for vitals if not given to establish that patient is stable enough to answer your questions. Then introduce yourself properly and establish some confidentiality. For example, you could say, Hi, Mr. Henry. I'm Dr. Ewumier, an OPD physician attending to you today. In a couple of minutes, I'll be asking you some questions. Please feel free to stop me at any time if you have any concerns. And also, I would like you to know that every discussion we have here in this room is confidential, except you ask me to disclose of it or is required by law. That way, the patient is comfortable enough to go on with the interview. Then you go on to the presenting concern, which is headache. It's advisable or it's best to start with open-ended questions. For example, I understand, Mr. Henry, that you've been having headache. Can you tell me more about it? Then, then proceed with close questions. For the history of presenting illness, you want to start with the onset setting, the cause, frequency, and duration. For the onset, is it sudden or gradual? Is there a particular place where the patient experiences this headache? Is the headache present throughout the day or does it come and go? Has the patient experienced similar condition in the past or is this the first time? And for how long that patient has this headache for? Then you want to go on to ask specific questions about the headache. So you start with the position of the pain. Is it on one side, unilateral or bilateral? The character of the pain. Is it throbbing, thunderclap? Does it radiate anyway? Does it radiate to their eyes, the neck? Also, you want to ask about the severity of the pain. You could ask the patient, is this the worst pain you've ever had in your life? Can you grade this pain on the scale of one to 10? One being the least pain you've ever had and 10 being the most. This will give, tell you, give you an idea of how severe this pain is. And at this point, it's advised that you show some empathy to the patient. Then also you want to know about timing and triggering factors associated with the headache. Then you go on to the impact. You want to ask the patient how this headache affects their daily activities and their work. Next, you go on to rule out red flags, symptoms like fever, neck stiffness, which will point to infections like meningitis. You also want to rule out seizures, altered level of consciousness, any signs of head trauma, and constitutional symptoms like weight loss, fatigue, 
anorexia. You also want to rule out risk factors that could predispose this patient to some of these conditions like hypertension, diabetes, etc. Then you go on to ask for associated symptoms. These will rule out the differential diagnosis which you noted earlier. So for primary headaches like tension, you want to ask, is there a particular time of the day patient has this headache? The character of the pain as we described earlier. For migraine, is there any photophobia, any phonophobia, any osmophobia? Does the patient have any, any tearing, increased lacrimation, as in cluster headaches? Then you also want to ask, has there been any history of falls, any trauma to the head, any recent travels to areas that are known for the spread of meningitis? You also want to know, are there any pain or mastication? Does the patient feel pain when he or she combs her hair? And also, any numbness or tingling sensations of the limbs or inability to use any limb? And of course, you rule out trauma. Okay, then we go on to the past medical history. For this, I like to use the mnemonic ampoule. It's not compulsory you go through the same pattern, but it's just a reminder of the questions you should ask in this sector. So you want to ask the patient for allergy history. We could be medical or environmental. You also want to ask about the use of medications like nitrates, oral contraceptive pills, prolonged use of analgesics, and caffeine. Then you want to ask the patient for their past medical history, for example, hypertension, diabetes, primary headaches like migraine, cancers, and even polymyalgia rheumatica. Then if female, you could ask for their last menstrual period to rule out the possibility of pregnancy. And also, timing of the patient's last meal to rule out neuroglycopenic symptoms of hypoglycemia. And of course, you ask for events preceding symptoms, for example, past hospitalizations and surgeries, like recent lumbar puncture, previous cancers, and intracranial surgery. Family history and social histories are very important. In the family, you want to know in first degree relatives, especially any history of migraines, stroke, seizures, subarachnoid hemorrhage, or aneurysms. For their social history, you want to find out how they support themselves financially, with whom do they live with to rule out stressors, you also want to know your smoking history, alcohol, and the use of recreational drugs. Recent travels will also be an important history to add. Note that for females, it's good to take a quick gynecological history. If you suspect that this could be psychological, you want to take a psychiatric history. And for teenagers, we do not want to forget our head's history.
at conclusion, you want to smile with the patient, thank the patient, and sanitize your hands. Thank you for watching and listening.